Feel like your characters aren't going anywhere? Sounds like you need directional buttons. So let's learn how to make them. So first, let's grab a character. So press on this gray plus button next to play. And I'm going to grab raccoon. But you can grab anyone you want. And now, let's make some directional buttons. So back on the plus button, pull out a text object. And for this, you're going to need emoji, which if you don't have, you can enable on the settings app in your iPad. So you should see a little smiley or globe right here. Pick emoji. And let's go all the way to buttons and find the up button. And if you need to pause the video to catch up, remember you can always just pause it on the bottom of the video screen. Cool. Press done. Now let's get a right button. So grab out another text. Go to emoji and find buttons again. It should be all the way on the right and find that one. Let's do this again for down, another text object, smiley, all the way over here and let's grab down which should be there. Grabbing plus again to get the left button. Smiley, all the way over here to get left. Cool. So we have our four buttons. And position them like that. And um, now let's add a rule to Raccoon. And it's important that you add this rule to Raccoon because Raccoon is who's going to move. And the first rule is going to be that when we press up, Raccoon will move up. So add a new rule. And the when is going to be, if you don't see all these whens, press more on the bottom of your whens menu until you find is pressed. Pick is pressed and let's choose up and this means that whatever we're about to write will happen when you press on that up button and press check down on the bottom. And now we're gonna have raccoon move up. So go to movement which is the red tab and pull out change y by. So change y by means moving up and down and let's do 25. So, so long as you're pressing on up, Raccoon will move up. So let's see what happens. Press play on the top right corner of the screen. And if you press up, up, oh, there you go. Super cool. All right, let's add more. So go back to edit and get out of here. And now let's add a new rule. So don't do the same rule, add a new one. So tap add a new rule and go back to is pressed again. And this time let's pick when right is pressed. Check, and let's go to movement and let's pick change x by. And change x by means moving left or right. So for this, let's put 25. Press check, wonderful, let's play. If you tap up, he goes up. If you press right, he moves right. If you press both at the same time, he goes diagonally. Awesome. Go back to edit, and let's get out of here. You can exit a rule by either tapping on the top or the x. So let's add a new rule. Let's do down next. So pick is pressed, down, check, and now go to movement again and pick change Y by. And now we're not going to do positive 25 because that would move Raccoon up. Negative 25 will move Raccoon down. So that little negative next to the zero and then 25, press check, and let's see what that does. Up, right, down, woo, what about down and right at the same time? Awesome, so cool. Okay, one more, and we're at the finish line, so tap out of this screen, pick add a new rule, is pressed once again, and this time, the last one, left. Press check. Now go to movement to make raccoon move, and pick change x by, which does left and right, and if positive 25 made him go right, then what will make him go left? You got it, negative 25. Super cool, let's play, let's move around. Raccoon is now officially mobile. So now you can make super cool games where you can move your characters by pressing directional buttons. Can't wait to see what you guys make. See you later, bye.